Was it really? You know, for whatever reason, the last couple of years, every time we played this team, we've just had to beat them with offense. You know, they're a they're an incredibly potent offensive team because they can drive and score, but they can also shoot the, the heck out of the ball. So you kind of got to pick your poison on what you're going to give up. And, you know, we did a good job. Our goal was kind of to hold them under double-figure threes, which we did. You know, they just scored 40 points in the paint. So, uh, but that's just how they play. That's why they're tough. But. We did a great job on offense, shared the ball, um, you know, shot the ball well, and did a good job offensively of being aggressive and, and withstanding a little bit of run they had there in the second half. So, uh, you know, great win and uh, enjoy it here for a couple hours and then get ready to go to a place that we've never won before. Seeing at 27 11, also passed the ball real well, hit the boards. Is that, um, but is that pretty much the, the entire game you want from him? Yeah, he played really well. Uh, he played very, very well. Um, you know, offensively, I thought all of them played well. We didn't. We kind of built on Florida State. We didn't settle for good shots when we could get great shots. And, um, you know, Ryan McMahon, once again, just <laughs> it's almost like he just lives for those moments. But it was funny, I told Kenny when he fouled that kid at half court, uh, when we were up four, I think it was, or six, and I said, watch, he's going to hit a three to make up for it. And sure enough, you know, but, uh, you know, it was a great team win. Offensively, we played very well. Uh, defensively, we need to get a little bit better, but you got to give them a lot of credit. I mean, that's the way they play there. You know, you guys saw it last year, they made 17 threes and scored 90 on us. So, um, you know, very happy with the win. Ryan. I mean, that's just who he is. You know, it's. I'm not gonna say anything. if he misses it. You know, how can you say something because he's made so many of them. But um, you know, he just he lives for the moments. But uh, you know, it really didn't come down to just one shot. Obviously, that was a big one. But most importantly, we made our free throws down the stretch, which was good to see too. What enabled you guys to shoot so well against them, not only from the field, but also from three? Did you see certain things with their looks, I guess, they were giving you? Or? Well, we just stayed patient. You know, we probably had a handful of possessions where we came down and just shot it quick. But when we stayed patient, <laughs> the ball in the paint, kicked it out, drove again, kicked it out, you know, that's when we got good looks. And we're just, we're sharing the ball really well right now. I think, you know, that that one play where Ryan threw it over his shoulder to Honest, I think it's kind of indicative of, of the rhythm we have on offense right now. So, um, you know, we just got to continue to build on it and, uh, you know, just got to continue to get better in other areas as well. What made Ding so effective? I mean, he's just letting the game come to him. You know, he's not trying to force things. Uh, you know, we, we tried to get him in some post-up situations tonight against smaller guards, and he did, did a good job with that. But um, you know, he's just he's playing how you would expect uh, a junior of his caliber to play. And uh, you know, I thought BJ played very well tonight. Um, you know, Ray foul trouble wasn't wasn't one of his best nights, but you know, nonetheless, he came in hit a couple of big three throws down the stretch. So uh, you know, Ding played well, but overall, you know, most importantly, a great win. Progress to play that well with so much of the game without Ray. I mean, from all the yeah, yeah. There's no question. Um, you know, honest, honest played um, okay. Rebounded the ball well. Uh, he's been under the weather a little bit the last couple of days, so he didn't have a lot of energy. But um, yeah, I mean, you know, foul trouble is part of the game. So for us to be able to, to kind of overcome it there when, when Ray's sitting on the bench is, is definitely a positive sign. You said you wanted to hold him to under under ten threes, and you did. What what enabled your defense to keep the eight threes today? Well, it's a little deceiving because you know they scored forty points in the paint, almost half their points come in the paint. So, but again, it's you got to pick your poison. I mean, do you protect the paint and see if they can just miss threes, or do you kind of take away the threes and just see if they can beat you by making twos? I mean, and that's why they're such a good offensive team. I mean, they're top five, I think it is, in the country in field goal percentage. So. You know, you just got to pick your spots, but, um, you know, we did a good job of challenging threes. They hit a couple of tough ones. We got lost on a couple, but, uh, you know, overall, we did a pretty good job in that area. Which is the block that the gang had on the after Ryan turned the ball over and he went down to the other end, swatted against the backboard. How did you see that play develop? You know, it was just a big, not momentum changing, but maybe momentum saving play. Uh, just to chase it down like that, and, you know, otherwise that's an easy basket and they got all the momentum. So just uh, probably a, a, the defensive play of the game if I had to pick one. How much has the confidence of your team changed in the last three or four days? I mean, I know that they were playing well enough to win a couple of close games, but to get over the hump and then come back here and play like this again, I mean. Yeah, I mean, getting that one the other night was huge. There's no question, just because, you know, I'm not going to say we lacked confidence that we could get a great win or road win, but we just, we hadn't gotten one yet. So uh, just for us to get that, to, to kind of get it, or turn the corner, I guess, uh, per se. But, um, you know, we just got to build on it. We, like I said, we can enjoy this one here for a couple hours, but then we got to go to a place that, you know, it's funny. I, I didn't think our, 
our first road game versus an unranked team, I didn't think we'd be at Notre Dame. So, uh, you know, it doesn't get any easier. But, uh, you know, we'll enjoy it and get ready for the next one. Anything else for David? Thank you. Thank you.